Just let them see how my mind go, that's how we ride it And that it too, there's a new way, this is how we be flying Welcome back guys to the channel, it's MC333 here, back with another Taurus reading. Ah, let's do this. It's Taurus, Sun, Moon, Ascendant, progress, check your chart. If you don't have a chart, dang, get your chart. <laughs> Hit me up, maybe I can help you with the chart. Free consultations below, don't hesitate for that at all guys. Thank you for everyone supporting the Empire, thank you for everyone supporting the channel. Um, you know, we just continue, continue growing, continue staying focused, guys. I appreciate all of you. Um, let's do this. So Taurus, Sun, Moon, Ascendant, right before we get into it, always remember that this isn't a, isn't only a uh, business and career. This isn't only a love reading, but this is a life reading. So apply it where necessary. You'll know where it resonates and you'll know where to be in tuned and where to tap into. So let's just give my... Handy dandy thought deck, a little shuffle. And uh, we uh, we shall move forward from there. Give you a little horseshoe spread, as usual. Um, well, as we uh, as we begin to start with those. Um, great for circumstance readings and general readings. So I love to do a, a you know, horseshoe spread and read those positions. Hope all my Tauruses out there are doing splendid. I shall ring my bell for you. I shall ring my bell for you, Taurus. What is uh, the energy of Taurus currently dealing with? It's going to give a nice shuffle, guys. General reading for Taurus throughout the week. Every Tuesday, we're back at it. Scorpio and Taurus readings every Tuesday on the channel. Make sure to stay tuned. Yeah, we're going to keep doing that. Just want to give this a nice shuffle, guys. Just want to give this a nice shuffle. Oh, there you go. That's what I was hoping for. That's what I was hoping for. All right. Ain't shuffling satisfying sometimes. But, all right, let's get into it. <laughs> One, two. Oh, interesting. Three. Came out backwards. Four. Five. Six. And seven. So guys, as you know, I always try to keep my cards upright. The fact that that came up upside down is significant. You can see the deck is upright. So that must have a significant representation. All right, Taurus. You guys may be high in energy right now. Just, just, just a side note this week. Energy may be exciting. Exciting, I feel. Exciting. Yeah, but that's a good thing, you know? Keep that vibration. Keep that confidence. Um, it's 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 needed, Taurus. So, you know, let's just start with the first position, guys. But before we do get into it, I do notice, I do want to take a notice on our energies here, guys. We have some beautiful cards. We do have some beautiful cards. <laughs> we do have some earth energy here. Seven of discs. We do have some air. Nine of Swords. We do have Princess of Swords coming up upside down. Very interesting. And we have the Hierophant. As you guys can see right there. The Hierophant. And then we do have the Fortune. And it's position six. Very nice. Very nice. Um, or I should say position five. Yes, position five. Um, and then we do have position six as the Ten of Wands oppression. And then we do have the final outcome. Beautiful card is art. But this seems very, very interesting, guys. So let's get into it. But before we do, mystery card time. So comment below. Test the intuition. What do you think this mystery card is, Taurus? My Taurus Sun Moon Ascendants. 
and progress. You know what all applies to you guys? The moon, just a representation of your reactions and responses, your emotions. You know, la luna. Uh, the sun, your actions. Did I say actions? No, I said reactions. I went, uh, re your moon, your reaction, guys, your reactions and responses. Um, your moon, your internal, you know, your internal cup, uh, your internal well. Your sun is your actions, how you like to take action, things of that nature. Um, you know, majority, pretty, pretty uh, self, self, self explanatory, your sun. Um, and then you have your ascendant, how people see you, how people, how people portray you, the energy you give off as well, um, how you're perceived. And, you know, lastly, your progress sign, you may have a progressed, you know, sun, moon, ascendant in Taurus. That's the side note, which maybe we can get into progress charts one day and, you know, run down more of the astrology thing for you guys as well. So you guys can understand some of those things. But if that's something that you would like, don't hesitate to drop a comment below. That would be nice. That shall, that would be nice. Don't forget to tune in every Tuesday for Scorpio and Taurus readings. Appreciate you guys. Let's see what's up. So what do you guys think this mystery card is? Comment below. I'm curious to see. Also, let me know where you're tuning in from. I love to see where you guys are tuning in from. It, uh, it encourages me to know that my, you know, peeps is watching me from all over. So we're going to pull the mystery card just like so. Put it to the grand side. And just like that, I'm going to get Mr. Uh, Mr. Hamza. And rest rest her on the uh, beautiful mystery card right there. As you can see, shout out to Mr. and Mrs. Hamza. Keeping that protected. So, let's see, guys. Let's see, let's see. Um, as far as the mystery card, I don't want to give a guess just yet. But let me see how I'm feeling. All right, let's get into it. So, position one, position one of the past. We have the seven of discs. Failure. So, shit. <laughs> I'm just joking, guys. I'm just joking. But the seven of discs, you know, it does say failure. But one thing I'm going to say right now is we have to fail in order to succeed. I want you to write that down. We have to fail in order to succeed. My affirmation. That's that Taurus. We have to fail in order to succeed. Remember, in anything you do, you have to fail first. You have to fail, 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 fail. Why? Why? Guys, some of the most successful people ever, especially Taurus. You know, you know, you know I'm talking to you, Taurus. Some of the most successful, some of the most wealthy, some of the most influential entrepreneurs have failed multiple, 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 multiple over and over and over, dozens of times, guys, before they found success. You see, you got to try. It's trial and error sometimes. But not just trial and error. You learn, you test, you iterate. You understand, you, you you analyze, you practicalize what's making sense, what's working, what's not. You see what I'm saying? So this seems like something that you've been doing. Because it's in position one, it has to do with the past. This could be many things that you've tried in the past, but maybe led to failure, right? This could be many things that you've wanted to try, but, you know, internally you didn't have the confidence to go about it. So you felt, maybe you felt internally like a failure, right? And that, that may sound harsh, but... There's more to come. This is only the beginning. Right? So the seven the seven of discs is letting me know that there's a lot of there's a lot of maybe jobs, there's a lot of things, there's a lot of practicalities and ways of um, you know, maybe sustaining yourself and stability that you could have went about. Um, maybe that you possibly failed at, you know, maybe wanting to do something your way, but it didn't go your way, maybe going towards an opportunity of stability, it didn't happen to go the way you wanted it to be and things of that nature maybe a lot of jobs that you've tried but never really fulfilled you you know as a Taurus, i know you guys you know some of you guys love you know they love they love to work they love that routine they love that structure they love they love the stability you know discs and earth energy is you right a representation of you so you know there could be many paths that you went down but nothing really fulfilled your cup and that's why you're kind of like man uh, you know that's why the failure showing up here i feel like doesn't necessarily mean you are a failure Right. Could have just been things that you didn't 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 want to go through. They're like, you know what, that that, you know, or maybe, or maybe it, it, it felt like a failure because it, it, it left something, something, you know, we fired, you quit, whatever the case may be. That's why, you know, kind of you have this failure card coming up. But 
I have a feeling something something better is on the way, Taurus. I feel something better is on the way. Something better could already be here because this is in the position of the past. Always remember that. Always remember that. But. Always remember that. But let's go into position two as we move forward to get a broader understanding of this uh, this spread here. So, you know, the present card as position two, we have the nine of swords, which is very interesting, Taurus. You know, the present moment, the nine of swords, cruelty. You know, the nine of swords is letting me know that you could be overanalyzing something right now. Maybe too many thoughts. Maybe anxious. You know, this was possibly in the past. You could be anxious towards something because of what maybe previously failed, right? So this previous failure or this previous letdown, because failure may sound harsh to some, this previous letdown or something you may have had to let go or release, you may have moved into something something else. But this new thing, you're, you're kind of uh, overanalyzing or maybe anxious about because of this past failure, right? The seven is all the paths you've went down or all the ways you've looked at something in a practical manner, whether you've you know had only had one job, whether you've had many jobs, right? Or it could just be, you know, like practical ways of thinking. It could be many different ways of thinking you thought about an outcome, right? And this many ways of thinking could also be leading to overanalyzation and anxiety, right? This could be, you know, on the pause, on the on the polar shift side of things, expanding because of this is anxiety. It could be expanding your realms of communication and your realms of thought, right? Because you're overanalyzing something, there's always two sides of, 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 of a coin, right? So, yes, this could be anxiousness. Yes, this can be possible anxiety, right? Based upon this past situation. But this can also be nine deals with expansion, nine deals with window, wisdom, nine deals with Jupiterian energy, right? And the horn blows, confirmations. And nine deals with finding the meaning and reasoning, right? So this could also be you finding the meaning and reasoning to why this didn't go the way it went and what you want to move forward to now, what practical ways you want to move forward to now. And this could be what you're analyzing. All right, how can I do better? What makes sense to me? And that that side of things can calm this this anxiety that I may that I'm feeling right now that you may feel in this present moment, right? So learn, look at your past and try to learn and be optimistic. How can I calm this anxiety instead of why I was a failure, right? Always look at the solutionary possibilities. Hold that solutionary mindset. How can I calm this anxiety? How can I learn from the past? Is there any way I can better my communicational skills? Is there any way I can better my processes of thinking? What can I do to calm me down? And this may be the new thing. This may be the, the earth energy. You may need to ground yourself a little bit, I'm feeling, Taurus. This new thing that you're possibly coming into could also help you ground, whether it's a new way of thinking, um, new emotional standpoint towards this past situation, um, maybe a new job based upon this you know past letdown and not feeling fulfilled. This can help ground these thought forms, right? And understand that if you did move towards a new thing, if you are overanalyzing, if you do feel anxious, maybe do some writing, maybe practice some communicational skills, some literacy, some diplomacy, right? To kind of understand you don't need to be anxious because you have all the power to think the way you need to think. You have all the swords, you see what I'm saying? But it could feel like you have too many swords, too many ideas, too many thoughts running in your head right now. But as an interesting card as we got deep there, let's move on to position three. This hidden influence. And this came upside down here, which 
you know, I always have my decks upright, so strange came upside down. But the Prince of the Princess of Swords. You see, the princess, guys, the princess, the princess integrity, the princess feminine. You know, compared to the Prince of Swords, where he's moving towards better communication, integral communication, right? This this queen or this princess, sorry, is receiving, right? Feminine, divine feminine. And this may be the hidden influence that you need to tap into. I feel like air, swords, is like a reference. You know, that's like the, that's like, it's like the unseen element, right? Very similar to spirit and, and fire as my horn goes. So this may be something that you personally, you know, need to kind of tap into. And as a, this could be personally holding you back. And because it came up, upside down, I feel like you may be closing yourself off of receiving some sort of communication, Scorpio. I mean, Taurus, sorry. We just finished our Scorpio reading <laughs> at this time, Taurus. So because you're possibly closed off, you know, this is, a, this is a hidden obstacle. So you may be closed off to some sort of communication that can allow you to move forward, right? That can allow you to move forward and direct this communication in the way that you need to. Direct these thought forms in the way that's in your favor. Be open to receive. This may be you being closed off to advice, you being closed off to people in your surroundings. This is a third position, which also resonates with Gemini energy, third house. So this could be your environment. This could be closed off towards, you know, what people tell you, your family, your friends, etc. About these thoughts, about this idea, about these ideas, etc. And this could block you from directing how you wish to actually communicate, how you feel you need to actually communicate, right? So... To reverse this back to its standard position, I feel like you need to be more open to communication, open to receive communication and conversation, you know, towards the right people, of course, right people, places and things, because allowing you to be open is allowing you to tap into your divine feminine energy, whether you're a male or female. Being open to receive is a key part of manifestation. And that will allow you to further direct these thought forms in a manner that is integral and it's in a manner that is best for you that kind of calms down these possibly this possible anxiety, possible overthinking, right? Position four here, the obstacle that must be overcome, the hierophant. So the Hierophant is a very interesting card right here. This this may be a figure in your life of authority, may be a parent, um, an uncle, an aunt, something like that, and a, a, a boss at work, right? Um... You know, this very interesting, Taurus, because it could be a situation like that, right? And whether it's a situation like that, this could be, this could be why you may be closed off to communication or why you could feel over, over anxious right now at the moment, or, you know, based upon what can, what can play out with this hierophant. You know, you may have or receive some advice that you didn't want to receive or some news you didn't want to receive from this parent, uh, this elderly figure, um, aunt, uncle, boss, um, you know, teacher, mentor, things of that nature that, you know, felt like maybe maybe threw you off in, in some way, shape or form. Yeah. And you didn't really know how to respond or communicate back to that, which is why I feel this is upside down here. Because that's that hidden influence. 
hidden influence. Yeah. So, if that is the case, whether and it's in position four, think more, think practical. That's the advice I can give. In a situation like this, which is just an example of many situations, apply where necessary. This could be a, a, a um, you know, a, a spouse that you know is is kind of like a boss, like energy as well. Um, but have a more practical way of thinking and try to make sense out of this. And maybe you know, why is this person? How you know? How can I you know receive this communication or, or, or communicate my part? Right, whether it's work and career. There may not be too much you need to say, you know, you could be starting something new. You could be going into something new. You could be doing something at work where you make a possible mistake. And then, you know, this this boss figure says something about it. And that may make you feel a little kind of withdraw within your communication towards this figure. Right. But this is the obstacle you have to overcome. This could be you needing to find power within yourself as well. Strength. Right. Finding strength within yourself to receive this information and receive, you know, uh, communication from people that may may help you, right? So it can play out two ways, whether it's external or internal. Move on to card five, guys, real quick. We have the fortune. Very interesting as well. And position five, others' perspectives, right? So... This, 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 this is good, right? This lets me know that <clears throat> whatever situation is going on here, uh, Taurus, and, you know, whether it's a lot on you, right? When it's, it's, it's in your mind and your thoughts, etc. There are, you know, people, places and things, individuals looking at it from the outside in, from their perspective, Saying you you hit the jackpot on something, you know, saying you're fortunate towards something, you know, whether you have to find strength in overcoming yourself to find your own power to receive this communication from your environment, possibly, you know, or whether you have to overcome some some information that you were told from a boss figure, from a parent figure, from an aunt, from an uncle, right, maybe a spouse, People are letting you know, or you're seeing from the outside in that they look, they see it as it's okay. You're fortunate because this, this emperor right here deals with wisdom as well, right? Or the hierophant, sorry, deals with wisdom as well. So you can be fortunate and they may look at it as fortunate, whatever you may have heard possibly, or know you need to overcome based upon this hierophant energy, you know, the like, for example, you finding strength within yourself, people see that as fortunate because it's hard for some to find strength within themselves to overcome and receive their abundance, right? This could be another situation or another scenario where you get some news for a, from a boss, from a coworker, from a spouse, from a parent, from an uncle that you don't like, but... It's good for you, though. You can learn from it. You see what I'm saying? Because the Hierophant card is a, is, is a wisdom card as well. People are going to say, listen, or looking at it like, listen, you're fortunate that that person said that thing because you're learning. You're in a better circumstance now, right? Stay optimistic because you are fortunate. Whether you see it like that or not, they're looking at it in a, in a fortunate, in a fortunate manner. So always keep that in mind, Taurus. Always keep that in mind. We're going to move on to position six. Ten of wands. The oppression. Which position six lets us know the best path to take. And you see the ten of wands in the best path to take right here. Position six. Let's me know that it's action. You know action and the action that you take for yourself is going to make other people possibly make other people feel oppressed 
like or why are they taking that type of action or how come they're doing that or how come they're getting such fortunate uh such fortune such good fortune such um good people such circumstances right that may make that may feel that may make external people feel oppressed that's what i'm feeling like with this i don't feel like you're feeling oppressed i feel like taking the right action that you know is good for you that fire inside of you you're feeling complete that's at 10 that's completion that's individual space individual spirit you know why you want to take action because of how you feel because of how you know what where you're thinking all these ways of taking action you know all those arrows shooting those arrows hitting the target because that internal fire is, is lit you know what i'm saying so you are feeling complete moving forward taking the right actionable steps to achieve that and this see that's that saturn energy so you are foundating yourself based upon action. This action is going to allow this to is going to allow this stability to manifest. It's that sag as well. So that's why I'm saying that wisdom connected with that with that with this overcoming obstacle, right? You're gonna have to find some wisdom, and and the 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 overcoming obstacle is gonna lead you to this wisdom, and expanding, knowing why knowing why to take action, meaning and reasoning, Sagittarius, right? Finding meaning and reasoning. On, on, on the path you're on, on why you need to take action on certain things for your foundation to solidify stability. And because you're taking such action and you're moving forward in such a way that you have meaning, reasoning, and value, what you do and what's in your actions, external people may feel oppressed. That's a side note. So you may get, you know, a side eye, a hater's eye, whatever the case may be. But with success and with movement, sometimes that comes. So that's just a side note as well. And the outcome as the position seven, guys, Taurus. The final outcome, we do have art. <laughs> Confirmations. Beautiful art here, guys. So what I get from this, I get, I get strength, guys. Beautiful art. Beautiful art. It's like I just looked through something. But Taurus... I like this art card because I want to put this book to the side. But I like this art card as the final as a final outcome because you're going to know how to express yourself in a more unique manner, in a more artistic way, right? Kind of like the alchemist, knowing why you did something, knowing how to do something, knowing your position knowing how to put someone else in position you're like the alchemist now so you're stirring up your pot you have your lion your strength you have your your eagle your phoenix your fire right you're rising from the ashes with strength because you know what you're doing you know what you represent and this outcome and this action could be taking taking action towards some some sort of art right some sort of creative gift talent etc but whether it's not a gift of creative creative endeavor, this could also be the outcome of <clears throat> you knowing how to alchemize certain emotions, certain thought forms, certain strengths, knowing how to find meaning and reasoning within yourself, knowing how to stir up your own cup and stir up your own pot. That's what I'm getting. Knowing how to rise from the ashes from hate, knowing how to move forward with courage, right? Based upon this meaning and reasoning and you having to overcome this 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 thing, right? This higher fit, this person possibly, yourself possibly, finding strength, knowing you're fortunate. You see what I'm saying? So this outcome is a very nice outcome card. I'm surprised to see what this mystery card is, guys. Let's find out. You drop a comment below to see what you what you think. You know, we do have the art major arcana card right there, which is very interesting as a <clears throat> as a major arcana as a major arcana for you guys uh, okay yes so in the traditional that's what i just wanted to spark my memory in the traditional, this art card, the outcome is a representative of the temperance in traditional tarot. 
so you are going to be learning how to fill your own cup exactly what i was what i had in mind what i was just saying guys so you're going to be learning to fill your own cup knowing how to balance what when where you know what i'm saying how that how that solutionary mindset so keep that in mind but you know besides that we do have the art we do have the ten of wands we do have fortune we got some major arcanas here guys i have fortune we do have um the higher fin do have some major arcanas here so it's a very very strong very very strengthful powerful reading here today guys for taurus um we do got the disc we have earths we got air major arcanas we got fire hmm Maybe some water. That's what I would like to see here. Yeah, some water to kind of tie tie this 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 together, tie this situation together. So you don't, you know, you're not losing your head, you're not falling off balance, you're not taking too much action, losing your ground. You know, some water or some earth would be nice. Water would connect it. Earth would give you some grounding, and send with some water. You know, it kind of feel like it would slow you down and. Knowing where to connect and where to put, where to direct your energies, right? <laughs> Let's see. Thank you, Hamza. Put you to the side there, buddy. As we pull this mystery card, what do we get? Okay, three of wands. All right, so we got some more fire. We got some more fire. Okay, we got some more fire. So... Which, this does make sense. We do only have one fire as well as one earth. Just majority of air, I think. Yeah, majority of air and majors. Okay. So, Taurus, we got the three of wands. We got fire. So, with this, this is letting me know that this, this, this thing you're taking action on is in your surroundings. This could be a job. This could be within your household. This could be um, online. This could be network. This could be social media you know this could be your your online business as well taurus um you know your direct career like i mentioned within your environment etc this is local right you're taking action on on it you could be in a uh in a in a, in a, in a you know type of scenario where there's other individuals taking action as well because there's three three wands right you kind of have your part, they have their part, he has his part, etc. But this lets me know, take action as well as, because it is the position three with this reverse energy. The action you're taking, don't hesitate to communicate. If you're looking for help, communicate it. That That is making communicative action. That is taking initiative. If you need a hand, if you need to learn something, communicate. Because this obstacle... I feel like if it is a career, whatever the case may be, person, place, uh, love, I think that that will help you. Because this is a wise type energy, right? But you are ready to move forward. You're taking a lot of action here and you are very fortunate. So you're optimistic, Taurus. Be grateful, be abundant, think in gratitude. Thank you for tuning into this reading. As always, I'm watching you from afar, and I'm rooting for you. It's MC333 out. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Always remember that my viewers, you, are one of the most important parts of this channel. Thank you.